Hello and welcome to something I'm very excited for here. We've got some 13, 13th week Mazda here at a new track on iRacing, a new free track. Um, pardon me, I am an Oval Racing American, so I am probably going to pronounce this wrong. Rootskagen? Maybe? That's what I'm going to go with for now. I'm sure I'll learn the real pronunciation later. But uh, so excited. This is the first time since I've started doing oval racing, or pff, road racing, <laughs> on iRacing that uh, we've gotten new free content on here. And uh, I imagine this will not be the last time I race the Mazda here. Very excited. I've had a blast uh, learning it so far. Just on uh, the 30 minutes of practice uh, before this race. Kind of learning the breaking points, and it's feeling pretty good. I'm having a lot of fun learning the track. So we're going to head out for qualifying here. We are the number one, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race anyway. Right now I've got a best time of a 136.2 and an optimal into the 135s. So it would be cool if I could somehow find a way to get into 35s. Let's get this done. Uh, without just the help of draft and stuff. But, uh, so much unknown going on here. Um, it's very exciting. I don't know what the race is going to look like. I don't know entirely what to expect so far, but... I definitely had some fun learning it, like I said, on my own. I'm sure I'm taking plenty of corners incorrectly. Holy cow, this thing's loose! That corner, that corner has been the toughest corner so far. I'm not gonna bring it back to the pits or anything. So, uh, I don't know if I have the time to do that. But uh, that is not the first time I've done that on the cold tires. So, uh, tip number one, be careful there on cold tires. And uh, just in general, because like I said, that has been a tough corner. And uh, I'm probably not even taking it quite right, but... Hey, we were just warming the tires up. That's what that slide was for. Not really. That seems kind of cheesy if I were to do that on purpose, so I promise you that's not what I was trying to do. And, uh... <laughs> I'm getting the, the pressure is getting to me a little bit. It's, of course, feeling okay in practice, and then now when it's time for race session and things start counting, now I'm falling apart, but... We're going to try to get a good run of the line here. Flag, Big, long flag. corner. Heading up to the straight. I didn't even do that right. <laughs> this is going to be kind of ugly. Just so you know. I mean, I don't expect anyone to be an expert here yet. But uh, I certainly am not. <laughs> just to keep that in mind. Goal is just to keep it on track here this, for this first lap. Oh, I took that way too soft. <laughs> Not push hard enough. Right there. Uh, I just need laps. I need some laps to get uh, used to what this uh, track's all about. I'm gonna slow it down more there so that way I don't wreck again. Probably don't need first gear right there, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. These are pretty uh, fast corners. Coming through here, chicanes. And then I probably don't need to slow down as much as I do there, if I had to guess. Probably not ideal line through here, but it's been working okay, I guess. I'll probably learn a lot just from watching other guys in this race, to be honest. Here I try to take a nice wide entry, because this corner kind of goes on a little longer than you might expect. And then this corner was pretty tough. The car can want to slide out from under you if you're not careful, so... Make sure you get your braking down before you start turning. Generally good rule in road racing anyway. And, uh... First gear, and then if, ideally, if you can get the right sides kind of like on the curb right there, that can really help you run that corner. But, uh, well, alright, well, at least we got a lap in. About a second off my optimal, but... Big deal, big deal. Hopefully we don't qualify too bad. I'm sure there's guys in here that have been racing it all day or something. 
probably going to be much faster than I am. Still could have pushed a little harder right there. 134s. We've got... Uh, speaking of unknowns in this race, we got someone literally just named question mark, question mark, which is kind of annoying. It's not really how you're supposed to do it on iRacing. You're supposed to have accountability and use your real name, but whatever, I guess. The internet's going out, so that's cool. <laughs> Connection got bad for a second up there in the cue bar. Less of that would be great. Hopefully that does not become any more of an issue. Seems like it's going away. Hopefully it does. Don't drive off the track. It is an off track there if you go too far wide. Plus, you kind of run out of room real quick as you get close to that grass. I can hit that smoother and be a lot faster, I think. Let's see if we can get the right sides along this curve this time. Eh, not too bad. So this lap will be faster at least. Should be in the 136s again. What do we have? 136, 278. Okay. Not too bad. That's uh, pretty close to what my best was. Like I said, just got 30 minutes of practice before heading in here. So I will take what I can get. Gonna be very careful during the race. It'll be my first laps, obviously, in race conditions. So I will have to learn what side-by-side -side looks like here. Definitely want to do second gear through there, I think. So I'll be finding ways to push and get better, and I hope you uh, don't mind if I'm kind of all over the place while watching. Uh, just uh, gonna keep reminding of that disclaimer. That, uh, you know, it's a new track, so I'm going to be pretty bad, probably. Oh, my God. Okay. Not much time to go, I imagine. Still got a minute 30, actually. I figured after a couple laps, we'd be pretty close to getting this thing started, but... All right, we'll get some uh, more practice in. Like I said, that's what I need more than anything, so... Can't go out too wide here, even though it's tempting because you see all that space, but then it goes right to grass, so you will get an off track if you go off there too, it would appear. Holding P4 for my qualifying effort so far. A little too uh, hard through there, and it looks like I can push more through there even. I even tried to push a little harder there. So it looks like I can be much more aggressive through that, uh, I guess it would be the second coin here. This is uh, very, very tough for me. I don't know if other people are experiencing it as tough as I am right there, but... I don't know, if I were brave enough, maybe I could flat foot it through there, but I don't know. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I will say the setup I'm using is just iRacing's advanced setup with one minor change, and it's a change that I'm making based on um, the setups I usually use, which are Majors Garage, Baseline Plus. I've noticed they always put the anti-roll bar at OEM, and that is meant to give more oversteer than when it's unhooked, and that means more turn, which means... Uh, faster, hopefully. <laughs> uh, that's what I've been practicing with. Seems to be working all right. And, uh, wow, look how how much the times vary here. We got a 134.6 up here. The next fastest time is a second. And a third. And then we're actually really close to Mystery Man. I guess is what I'm going to have to call him. <laughs> and then about half a second behind us, and then we got guys like the 38s back here, which, you know, this just came out, so it's what you gotta expect, I think. 
even if I hit my optimal, I'm nowhere near this guy. So maybe I'll have to take a look at what he's doing. Oh my. Just looked at the pings. Uh, well maybe leave a little extra space today. <laughs> All right. I am very excited, very nervous, but very excited. I've heard that this first turn can be quite interesting. So I have to keep an eye out. Ben says, good luck, everyone have fun and do not kill him. Uh, I agree, please don't kill me. We'll get all this stuff ready in case we have to take our fast repair, because we don't need tires or fuel if we uh, do have to crawl into the pits and feel sad. Happy with P4 in my first uh, start here. See what we can do in the race. Green, green, green. You've got 10 minutes left, 10 minutes to go. Kick the uh, clutch a little bit, maybe to get a little bit extra speed wound up. Okay. Too, too wide ahead. Levin's getting loose. Keeping an eye on him over there. All right, gonna have to take it real easy into this corner on cold tires. Coming up here. Starts all right. Let's build on it. If it's drifting it through, that's that's absolutely fascinating. But so far, so good. Don't run over anyone ahead. I don't know how fast they plan on taking this. Looks like a little slower than I would have wanted. So I'm glad I gave them space. This corner seems to go on a little longer than you might expect. So, don't want to get on the gas too early there. Ooh, he's absolutely parking it in front of me. That's okay. <laughs> Didn't get into him or anything. Another place to be very careful early on. See some smoke. I don't know if that was the leader or second place or who. That got all messed up there, but... Oh, it looks like uh, we got some serious tire smoke. And we have survived our first lap here. And uh, held position as well, so that's also nice. First time taking this corner full speed. They're a little bit better than the 10. Gonna be carrying extra speed with the draft into the, what, my, what is my opinion, the toughest corner. So, hit the brakes. Oh, he's going wide. We go on the inside of him there. He's gonna be very aggressive for some reason. Alright, make it through. He's ready to hit us. How is that a 0x? I thought that was him saying 500 IQ driving, being sarcastic. I thought he was like mad at me for him running into me, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't get that, but that's okay. So far, we have survived still. This car feels okay. Get through there pretty good. Still think I could be faster, but too bad. Trying to get on this curb like I was describing. I could be wrong, but that seems to be how I've been getting through that corner fastest. Let me push my desk back into position. Oh shoot, I just lost my audio. Oh. I've been having weird audio issues. Oh, much more, much more than that. Yeah, there goes the audio again. Why is it doing that? I need my audio, man. So when I move my desk around, I think there might be a wire pinch somewhere or something. I don't know. But uh, I need that to stop happening. <laughs> yeah, 
All right. Wow. Please turn. I'm very slow through there. I just I haven't figured that out yet. <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of that. Hopefully the the sound issue doesn't mess with my recording at all. Oh, there it goes again. It's just cutting in and out when it feels like it. It's kind of not my favorite. Uh, it helps me to be able to hear my engine. But, uh, okay, we're surviving. We're fine. We're good. Car likes to get sideways when I shift down there. But, uh, and it's pretty scary, but it seems like it's pretty fast, so. Ooh, yeah, I got on the cart real good there. Maybe too much, though. Actually, that wasn't the best I've ever done through there. And I felt like uh, I was doing pretty good, so. Oh no, the guy behind me, I think, just dropped out. That stinks. I don't know if he was still the guy behind me, but I know I was racing him. That's five minutes to go. Come on, keep it together. We'll be on the podium here. Oh, I was worried about overdriving it, but I think I could have been. I could have kept my foot in it. So that's the kind of thing that I, I'm gonna need to be learning. I'll hopefully get a little bit better with each lap. That's uh, that's the hope, right? Hey, that felt a lot better that time. Kind of went slow through there. Could definitely stand to be faster through that section. We got people having issues, it sounds like. Seven's catching up to me once more. Find me, just gonna drift it through that corner, I guess. Okay, we have three and a half minutes left, so will, that'll be uh, three, four laps maybe? Don't make me do math right now, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> overdrive that. I said trying to drive, not trying to overdrive. Now I'm trying to get in the grass. Okay, not very smooth there. We got a nice gap after fourth though, that's kind of <laughs> comforting at least. I try to take this a little faster now the tires have warmed up. And it looks like we are good. So that looks like the fastest I've ever gone through that section. Very fun track though. I believe this is a Norway, I read. Oh wow, the guy behind me is much better in that section than I am. Even though I took that better than I have been that time, he's just much better. Through there. Not not so great there either. Get some serious oversteer on exit there, by the way. So, be uh, sure to look out for that. I don't know what the fixed, regular, basic iRacing setup feels like through here. So far, I've only done this advanced setup with the uh, OEM change as I described so your experience may vary particularly with how stable or unstable the car feels but I can still push faster through there I think I'm getting in a bad habit of underdriving that I gotta try to pull the plug on that quick and really just try to push through there for a little bit more. Alright, get this thing turning, set up for this section.
Wow, he's getting so much more turn than I am through there. Maybe I'm overdriving it or something. Just hope he doesn't run in the back of me like he did before. Fighting for podium here. My first attempt at this uh, track. I thought he might dive it in on me there, so I kind of got worried and did not take that how I would like. White flag. Oh, we're on the white flag. Can we hold on? To the short step of the podium. Break the draft a little bit. One more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Got okay, point four behind us. Consistency. Keep it up. All right, push it harder this time. Still felt like I could have done more, <laughs> but at least I didn't do it quite as sad and pathetic. As I have a couple of times before. I see smoke. Not sure what we're about to see around this corner. That looks like Mystery Man. Oh my goodness, Mystery Man. Having trouble on the last lap. Tried to push through there a little harder this time since the guy behind is so much faster in that section. He still uh, got me there. Oh, very sideways. Whoa! Sliding through the corner. think if we just keep this exit smooth, we should be okay. Whew. Nice oh, he, the leader left. <laughs> There's the flag. It's over. Good race. He kept me on my toes, Seven. Good job. Very good, good job. Good race. Wow, that was fun. Alright, I approve. This place is awesome. That was very fun. So, that'll finish it up here. First ever race. <laughs> I hope uh, Seven enjoyed our run there. Just barely able to hold them off. Hope I didn't get too aggressive or, uh, you know, with the, I don't know, defensive driving. I don't even think I did too much defensive driving. I just kind of just ran my line, but. Uh, number four gets the win, Mystery Man. <laughs> with the P2 and uh, all right podium first ever uh, visit here which you know that's the number one I'm technically supposed to win whatever but we all know that's not <laughs> not usually how it goes so we will check out see what happened out here any accidents that may have occurred We got lap two. Nothing happened on lap one, I guess. We've got still some cold tires and then some uh, guys get together, it looks like. Both. <laughs> it seems like a lot of people having some trouble. It's, it's a tough corner, for sure, especially on the cold tires. And uh, they just come together there. We've got a taxi spinning out on lap four. Oh, no. Okay, everyone so far has avoided. And, uh... Unfortunately, Mr. Wong here is in a very bad spot to get turned around. He actually backs it into the wall. Surely that's not it, is it? Is that it? Is everyone really that clean? Well, I, uh, I assume we're probably missing something, but well, that's all the incidents are going to show us. And speaking of incidents, zero X. Heck yeah. <laughs> I had a couple of close calls. There was like, I had contact early on. With the uh, seven, I believe. What was the deal? Uh, why didn't you see that? When did that happen? That happened. Uh, let's see here. I think it was like lap two, three. 
Oh, it wasn't even the it wasn't even the seven. It was uh, the ten. It looks like. Yes, I remember now. Into this corner. He just entered a, a little harder than me. You know what? I think I'm taking this corner wrong. It's looking like. Well, that guy braked about the same point as me. I've been using this white line. So the guy ahead, who finished ahead, it's mystery man. Seems to be braking on that white line. That's when I hit the brakes. But it's not when the 10 hit the brakes. So um, I'm not going to be too upset about it, obviously. Everyone's kind of learning how to run the track. Maybe the 10 has been driving in a little harder, which I can kind of understand. I can kind of see taking a like diamond line through here. I might have to experiment with that. I've been keeping it kind of closer to the inside. But I've also been pretty slow through there, so might be something to it. Unfortunately, the uh, 10 did not expect me to break when it did. But thankfully, 0x. It didn't count towards uh, any incidents. So That was uh, the one contact I had in the race, I believe, if I remember correctly. And uh, that'll do it for, again, apologies for the pronunciation, Rudskogen, Rudskogen, track in Norway. <laughs> so... Uh, very fun. I really enjoyed it, and I'm really looking forward to running some more cars here in the future. Very cool that uh, iRacing put this out for free for us, and uh, I think it'll be a good addition to the content list. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, this first race I've ever had here, and uh, I hope you have a good one. I appreciate you. See you next time.